Marston, sir. It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say to both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Ask the stars to bring the horses around front. Quick, man, quick! Ray from the path of righteousness. My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, calm Professor. Down. I I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Come on. Go. Come on. This is it. <laughs> Years of research. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? a little nervous, I have to say. <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Especially you, Nastas. But you really have made remarkable progress in the short time I've known you. I'm glad you have found it useful. I've always been a little afraid of savages, if I'm honest. But your mastery of basic English and openness to rational discussion is nothing short of reassuring. You see, all those years of research were worth it. Isn't it fascinating? I've actually noticed that your skull is very Caucasian in form. I must have a prod around in it sometime. I'd rather you didn't. So many questions. Have humans evolved into competing subspecies? Why is the white man civilized more quickly? Why does the stuff here dance for rain and sacrifice deer to a myriad of false idols? You're starting to offend me, old Ohio. It's a bear! For the love of God, kill it! Anger her! Now we have no choice! Come on! Super. My God, that was terrifying! And I say we leave before any of its friends oh, turn bear. up! I'm still shaking! What a ferocious animal! That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir... This is it. Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What was he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn it, I'm Dutch! <laughs> Professor, get down now! Quiet! They killed the stars! Marston! You, you have to get us out of here! Stay down and keep quiet! Never in all my days! You won't leave me alone in here, will you? Great spirit! You ain't outlaws! You're in it! Suck
about enough of field work for today. Time to return home, sir. Uh I don't know about you, Professor, but I say we get the hell out of here. You don't have to tell me twice. Let's get back to Blackwater. and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. <laughs> Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. <sighs> What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing, the thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages. Savages. I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're going to kill the both of you. Why you want to do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea. Not just for ourselves. 
That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Come on, we can get to the roof this way. Do something! He's going to kill me! One more move, and he's a dead man, as the buzzer flies. My God, you took your sweet time! What do we do now? On, They've got us pinned down on both sides. Follow me. Oh, oh, no. I can't wait to check out you. Come on! Come on! You can't keep up now! was a mistake. You really ain't helping, McDougal. This is my ass before I get you, bud. Stay quiet! I think that's most of them. The coast looks clear. Come on then! Let's make a break for it! The horses should be in an alleyway down here! In all my days. Hello. All right, get us out of this hell hole. Head for Manzanita Post. I'm taking the first train out of here. This really couldn't have gone more horribly wrong. At least you got some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West. The romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. Do I have? 
have to do. What are you going to do now? Get as far away from here as humanly possible. Back to where people eat with knives and forks. And don't spend every second of the day trying to kill each other. Ah, my research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. So long, Professor. So long, sir.